Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And today we got an update with the indoor grow boxes. As you see here, these plants are looking very good and have had a huge amount of growth in only one week. It's been seven days since my last update. And these plants are doing amazing. Let me zoom you in, show you what's going on. If you see, we have beautiful tall radish plants right here growing and all the radishes are starting to put on their first sets of true leaves. You can see right there, right in the middle. And look at the lettuce plants right down there, also putting on their true leaves, which is that third leaf right there, as well as the chives growing beautifully mixed throughout. So we're going to have a nice delicious salad when this thing gets nice and big and let me show you what's going on over here look at that you could actually see if you can brighten that up look at the roots going all the way down from the cocoa core down into the hydroponic clay pebbles and reaching already the bottom of the container so this thing we're probably going to cover this up just to make sure the roots are not exposed. You always want to keep the roots closed and out of the light. This way they'll stay nice and white and healthy. And if you keep them exposed, it might, it might get some damages from the lights as well as stun the plant's growth. So we're going to cover that up probably with some like newspaper. And if we go back down one more time, you're able to see basically the water level is just right there maybe like a quarter of an inch left. And originally this was filled one gallon and it took about, about a week for it to drink most of that up and there's a tiny bit left. So once that finishes everything, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna refill it with hydroponic fertilizer. Also I'm gonna put one gallon, which basically brings it up to right in between the two grow medias, which is the clay pebbles and the cocoa core up top and it's able to keep the cocoa core nice and moist for the entire time of its growth. Look at everything right there. It's looking nice and wet. Look at that. Not dry at all. As you know with cocoa core when it dries out it turns this nice brown color which is excellent because you're able to know when it's time to water. Here's a nice little example. Look at that. Nice and brown and nice dark color so it's a good indicator of when it's time to water if you're not able to see in a situation like this what's happening down below and if you've noticed some of these radish plants got a tiny bit leggy that's because this plant originally was just this thing right here and i put another container right underneath the exact same one to elevate it up higher and bring it closer to the light which is right over here. So it's separated between just this distance. It's basically right underneath my trellis for my mouse melons. And it's doing very well, I think. Once it was raised up, everything stopped getting so leggy and began to grow nice and healthy, as you see with the lettuce plants. And the radishes stopped growing, going up, and they're putting on more new growth, as opposed to trying to reach up to get closer to the light. And if we look at over here to the right, last week there was basically nothing sprouted almost. And if you look now, all these beautiful borage plants have popped up. And again, these are basically a beautiful little leafy green. That's an herb that when you eat it and when you eat the leaves when in their early stage, they taste and smell a lot like cucumbers. And it's really quite tasty when you put it in salads and it's a nice replacement for actually fresh cucumbers if you don't have cucumbers at the moment like I do now mine are growing so I'm gonna have these nice beautiful flowers I'm sorry leaves which will taste exactly like cucumbers so I won't even really taste it miss most of the difference except that nice little crunch you can't you can't forget that from cucumbers that's amazing 
and when this thing gets nice and big it actually puts on beautiful beautiful purple flowers which are also edible but this plant gets really really large about two feet tall so most likely I'm gonna be harvesting mostly just the leaves on this plant and if I was growing this outdoors the bees would absolutely love this plant and it puts on these beautiful flowers which are really really tasty actually as well as salads and the oils that you make from the those seeds are quite expensive actually so if you wanted to harvest some of that those are some things you could look into and that's basically what I have for the update for this week real quick if we look at the cocoa core it was also filled with a gallon as you see it's right up to here initially it was roughly up to here halfway mark so we drank about half a gallon in comparison to this box right here they were grown and started at the same time but look at the difference in water level this one has almost nothing left and this one has basically half a gallon so that just shows you the difference and if you look at the grow media also you see nice and moist so if you're interested in giving yourself a nice little grow box indoors this is a great way to start you don't need a large space you could start with something small this is a small little 16 by 11 by 7 container a little basically bin that's has no drain holes on the bottom and whatever water or nutrients you put into it it stay keeps it in there and over time it gets released and the plant absorbs it as it needs it so this is a nice little self watering container as well and if you have any questions or comments or suggestions leave them down below I'll do my best to respond to everything and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching